Suppose you have 100 kilograms of potatoes. These mathematical potatoes are composed of two things, water, which is 99%, and dry stuff, which is 1%. Now you keep them in the sun to dry until the percentage of water decreases 1%. What is the final weight of the potatoes you are left with? You probably answered 99 kilograms, but you would be shocked to know the answer is actually 50 kilograms. Here is the explanation. After drying, the percentage of water decreases 1% and becomes 98%. Therefore, the percentage of dry stuff becomes 2%. Originally, the dry stuff was 1 kg and it stays 1 kg because nothing is added to it or taken away. Now, 2% of what is 1 kg? The answer is 50 kg. This result is so counterintuitive, but unlike the numerous 1 equal to 2 paradoxes, there is nothing wrong with the explanation and the result is perfectly valid. One reason for us being tricked is because we usually think about the solute, the smaller quantity in the solution, and in this case, the dry stuff. If we ask the question in such a way that the dry stuff is 1% and then doubles to 2%, it isn't so hard to believe that the final weight would be half of the original. In fact, this doubling would always work, irrespective of the original percentage. So you could have 10% increasing to 20%, or even 50% increasing to 100%, which amounts to all the water disappearing. The other extreme case would be when there is 0.000001% dry stuff increasing to 0.000002% dry stuff. The percentage of both the water and the dry stuff remained pretty much the same, but the weight of the entire potatoes would again be half of the original. Another reason for the trickery is again in the way we think. The problem states that the percentage of water decreases 1% and we subconsciously understand this to mean that the weight of water has decreased by 1%. If this was actually the case, then the 99 kilograms of water would reduce by 1% to 98.01 kilograms. And then the answer you originally thought, that is, 99 kilograms, would be right. But both the statements are different. One is an absolute change in the relative, and the other is a relative change in an absolute. Here, the brain got tricked and jumbled the percentage of weight of water because initially the values of both were exactly the same, that is, 99. You would say, how does it matter? Both things change from 99 to 98. It matters because when a percentage changes to 98%, the other percentage naturally has to increase to 2% so that the sum is 100%, which isn't the case for weight. Okay, one final dissection of the problem. So what is the 1% reduction in water percentage actually worth? That totally depends on what the original percentage was. Here is a graph showing what the percentage reduction, the total weight would be from 1% reduction in the water percentage. As you can see, for most water percentages, the final weight is a believable fraction of the original percentage. Only when the water concentration is high is the change so large. And when it gets extremely high, for example if the initial water concentration was 99.99%, a 1% reduction in this case would lead to the final weight being about 1 kg. See how such a small change can make something almost disappear? Let me know what you think about this in the comments below and if you like this video, subscribe for more and to support this channel.